that through the weekend activities coming up. New tonight, your sewer bill will soon go up to pay for a much-needed project. But is the price right? Tonight, a local office wants to be sure. News Channel 5's Curtis Jackson is live in our newsroom with the story. Danita, if you buy a house or a car, you do your research to make sure you're getting the best bargain. The most costly utilities project in the history of Northeast Ohio carries a steep price tag, $3 billion, to fix an out-of-date sewer system. Trouble is, the people who will vote on that project aren't sure if the price is right. This is a classic case of lack of accountability and transparency. Gary Starr wants to know how the sewer district reached a deal with the EPA that could more than double your sewer bill by 2016. The answer could be somewhere in hundreds of pages of documents. Documents that until last week were confidential, even to Starr and other sewer board trustees who will vote on the $3 billion project in two weeks. I'm always suspicious as an elected official when they said, I can't give you the documents, but I want you to vote on it anyways. Faced with a deadline, Starr is calling for a one-year moratorium on sewer rate increases in order to have more time to review the project. But sewer officials say that, too, could prove costly. In this case, we have a gun to our head. We're either going to take the right steps here or the government is going to force us to do it. Delaying the project could cost up to $100 million a year. It also poses a threat to the environment. We continue to put 4.5 billion gallons of sewage into the lake, so we're not helping the environment. Starr doesn't question the environmental impact of failing to update the sewer system. He just wants to know if the price is right. This is about huge utility rate increases, the largest rate increase in the history of Northeast Ohio. Gas, electric, water, sewage, this ranks number one. Why? Sewer district officials maintain the process of approving and paying for the project has been transparent. And if the board decides that it needs more time, it will get more time. But the project is mandated by the federal government. And officials say approving it sooner rather than later could avoid costly litigation.